Welcome to the National Kidney Registry's ninth annual awards gala. The Grace Under Pressure Award is presented to an individual organization that went above and beyond the call of duty in order to complete a swap under the most challenging circumstances. Nominees for this year's awards were swap number 483, which included Karen Miller, Nikki Lawson, Janet Hiller, Laurie Thompson, Melissa Van Sickle, and Jessica Vucci, representing the following centers, Madison, Hopkins, Maryland, VAHD, and Georgetown. Swap 906 included Valerie McBride, Jeff Clister, Karen Miller, Bobby Peterson, Suzanne McGuire, and Kelly Coffey, representing the following centers, UCSF, ASL, Madison, OSU, UCLA, and Indiana. Tonight, we're going to give special recognition to those who did rise above and beyond in orchestrating the rescue of chain 906. This chain originally incorporated 32 participants and started on May 19th. The Hopkins pair in position two was a favorable blood type compatible pair with a hard deadline. It was this pair that unlocked many of the highly sensitized patients in the swab. The Hopkins donor surgeon, Dr. Dagnar, was moving to New York, but held off his move to New York to accommodate the delayed surgery dates forced by the repairs. The first break in the chain came in the morning. I remember it well. The donor in position four had an unexpected TB test result. The surgeries in position four had to be canceled. Position one and two were already underway, and the Hopkins paired donor was scheduled to donate the next day. Repair options were limited since 12 of the 16 remaining patients were highly sensitized. In fact, there was only one available option. First, we would need the donor at Hopkins in position three to bridge for a couple weeks to give us some wiggle room. Nikki and Janet quickly arranged it. Next, we would need the Madison paired donor to donate in advance to avoid rescheduling the 20 surgeries in positions seven through 16. This was a difficult request for the Madison pair since they were involved in three previous swap failures. Further complicating the situation, Karen could not fax the ADP consent forms to the hotel where the family was staying because the hotel fax was broken. And when she arrived at the hotel, a policeman attempted to give her a ticket. Uh, so Karen explained the situation and skillfully avoided getting a ticket. The daughter's heroic decision allowed 20 surgeries to proceed as scheduled, or so we thought. Once the bottom of the chain was back on track, the next challenge was to quickly organize a swap to match the remaining orphan pairs before we ran out of time with the Hopkins Bridge donor. With many special favors called in with ORs and surgeons, we successfully repaired the chain. On May 26, this chain was broken again when a patient got sick just days before the scheduled surgeries. The repair required the Virginia kidney go to the Georgetown patient. Melissa at Virginia had just drawn the final cross-match blood from her donor and had dropped it off to be shipped. After hearing the repair instructions, she immediately rerouted the blood to Georgetown. Jessica at Georgetown had just started her vacation and was in a car headed to the beach when she received the repair instructions. She immediately paused her vacation to set up the repair. Because the Virginia donor could not be rescheduled quickly, 12 surgery dates at the bottom of the chain were now at risk again. So the Georgetown team enrolled their paired donor in the ADP program, keeping the remaining 12 surgeries on track. The Georgetown patient was successfully transplanted one day later on June 8th. This original 16 deep chain was hit with two separate breaks after the swap commences. It was very unusual. Incredibly, and due to the hard work of the coordinators and the generosity and flexibility of the donors, all but two of the transplants in Cindy's original chain went forward. So in, in the end, 14 people got transplanted out of Cindy's chain. Well, who's the winner? We had a tie this year for the Grace Under Pressure Award. So both teams have won. The awards go to Swap 483 and Swap 906 as well. Come on up.